You sad to see it go? We posed the question to Mike Haynes because his neighborhood fire station, the one that caught his eye as he bought his home almost a decade ago, would soon close. Its volunteers disbanding, effective December 1st. For 37 years, the Chalk Bluff Volunteer Fire Department had served and protected this area of McLennan County, situated between Waco and Lacey Lakeview, El Mott, and Golson, just east of the Brazos. We knew of feuds between volunteer departments and the cities they served. We knew how many volunteer departments seemed underfunded as they begged voters for a tax increase to replace outdated gear. But none called it quits. What made Chalk Bluff different? It turns out, nothing, say experts. Tell me, what kind of pressure are volunteer departments under these days? Well, I think there's a number of things. Uh, obviously, the pandemic has played a huge role in fire departments not being able to uh, fundraise and for some their tax revenues their tax base has uh, has diminished but probably the biggest problem has been the uh, uh, the lack of volunteers he says the problem varies from department to department but a lack of volunteers has become the most consistently reported reason for the demise of volunteer fire departments around the country Hirsch knows something about the challenges of running a volunteer department the attorney also serves as training officer for rural fire district number one in Sheridan County Kansas about halfway between Denver and Topeka, where he says retention and recruitment of volunteers has become a full-time job unto itself. But I will tell you, even for me, recruitment and retention, that's a 24-7 responsibility. You can't ever stop because once you get behind, you're, you're, you're behind the curve. That said, he adds he still fills 100 firefighting positions across his 900-square-mile county, populated, he says, mostly by cows. Would better recruiting have helped Chuck Bluff stay in operation? Neighbors call the problem here a little more complex than that. We'll take an in-depth look at the problem over the next four reports and review some of the other incidents that have put volunteer departments in the hot seat. Because in Mike Kane's case... You sad to see it go? Sad to see it go. In-depth in McLennan County, Dennis Turner, 25 News.